Hey guys, welcome back to She Knows. I have Matt Lanter here who is currently starring in Star Crossed on the CW every Monday at 8 o'clock. I know so you guys are watching dramatic it. Dramatic of you. I know, I'm quite dramatic. <laughs> I am. So we know a little bit about your character, and now yeah. we want to know a little bit more about you. Okay. So I have some quick questions for you. All right. I want you to just tell me the first answer that comes to mind. That yeah, could be scary. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. First question. What movie did you last cry at? Oof, man, uh, 12 Years a Slave. Okay. Yeah, emotionally super powerful. So you're rooting for him for the Oscars? I am, yeah, I am. Good. What's the best Christmas or birthday present you've ever received? Hmm. When I was like 10 or 12, I got a go-kart. Hmm. Um, and my, my parents, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Santa Claus, sent me on a, <laughs> um, like a whole big scavenger hunt to find the go-kart. And when I finally opened up the door outside and like looked over the balcony to a driveway, there was a go-kart sitting there. Aww. It was kind of awesome. Now you hope like a G-Wagon or Range Rover sitting there. No, I'd be happy with a go-kart. Really? Yeah. All right, you going to do something like that for your future kids? Maybe, hopefully, if I, yeah, if I get a house outside of Los Angeles where you have, you know, a little small, tiny piece of land <laughs> and busy, busy traffic, so got to get out of there. But. Oh, I'm going to be such cute dad. Uh, <laughs> what celebrity flirted with you in the past that totally caught you off guard? Celebrity flirted with me in the past? Oh, gosh. In my head or in real life? In real life? <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I don't know in real life. Um, one time I saw Charlie Theron from a distance, and this doesn't really answer your question because she didn't even turn around and look at me, but her back was like radiating. Ah, you oh. could feel the love coming from I could. Back. I don't know if she could or not. I hope you guys know he blushed a little at that question. <laughs> um, what's the funniest question you've ever been asked? Um, probably, uh, what celebrity has hit on me? Oh. Probably that one. Awkward. Moving on. Uh, what's Let's... your must-have comfort food? Mm, I love popcorn. Me too! Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite kind? I like the Orville Redenbacher Movie Theater Butter. Oh, no, you gotta go with the cheddar jalapeno, man. That's, yeah, but that's really, that's really specific. Yeah. You gotta be kind of in the mood to have jalapeno cheddar. Uh, I'm every not saying day. I would turn it down, but I'm just saying movie theater butter is kind of standard run of the mill. He's good stuff. Not a professional in the popcorn world. Who is your celebrity BFF? Celebrity BFF? Oh, man. Uh, one of my really good buddies is Jason Kennedy from E News. He was a, he was a, groomsman in my wedding so we're pretty really? tight yeah cool is he a celebrity don't let it go to your head jason we won't tell him <laughs> you said that what song or movie was playing during your first kiss okay wait 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 say, say it again what song or movie was in my first kiss yes okay this was not my first kiss however because i think we were playing spin the bottle when i had my first kiss so there's no song playing okay um but one one of my first kiss that I remember was in high school, and uh, I was in my I was in my Trans Am and I had my T tops off, right? Really sweet car, and it was nighttime. We had the, we had the chairs leaned back. We were both like looking at the stars, and it was uh, Sister Hazel, Champagne High was playing. Okay. Oh, uh, that was a good kiss. That was smooth. My first kiss <laughs> was not that great. Uh, it kind of it kind of was from a movie. Which is interesting. Fitting, like fitting. Who was your biggest teen celebrity crush? My biggest teen celebrity crush when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. or just who do I have a crush on now? No, that's, we're not going there. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I was a teenager, who did I? Oh man, um, I Jenny McCarthy was like the epitome of hot. Mm -hmm. When um, you know, back a while ago, when I was really young, so. Did you have posters up of her up in your room? I had a poster of uh, Jessica Simpson in my, in my. Of course you did. It was like the one where she was vacuuming. Of in course like, it was. In my, in like her underwear. It was so awesome. typical. I think man. I found that the other day. My wife wasn't happy. So it's not up in your house right now. It's not up in my house. It's. It's in his man cave. It's she in my office. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who is your current TV crush? Ooh, current. Rush. It can be, you know, man, woman, yeah, whatever. Yeah, any, anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, I told you I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones. Yeah. I don't even know this actress's name, but she's very pretty. Um, and uh, she plays uh, Rob Stark's wife. I'm sorry, hmm. I don't know her name. That's she's, all right. She's gorgeous. We'll she? look it up. Yeah. Okay, we'll <laughs> post a picture for you guys. What's your go-to karaoke song? I don't like karaoke. 
I don't like karaoke because everyone's looking at you, and believe it or not, I, I do what I do in front of the camera, but I don't like being the If you had to pick a song, though, what, what would you pick? Okay, so uh, if I had to pick a song, I'm going to say uh, the song from Greece because it's a duet and because I can have someone up there with me. Okay, there's only three people looking at you right now, so do you want to give us a few, uh, a few lines? No. <laughs> Damn. All right. You thought you'd trick me, so as if no, no album, viewers are watching. No album coming out anytime soon? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I might have already cut an album of me singing in the shower. Oh, okay. But, uh, Auto tune works wonders. Totally. But yeah. you, know, you never know. Maybe I'll go into, like, country or something. Just give myself a twang and... You wouldn't be the first. Go for it. We wouldn't that, be the that's, first. That's true. Um, second to last question. What group were you a part of in high school? Um, I, I don't think I was really a part of any one group. I played sports. I, I wrestled. I played baseball. I played football. So, you know, I had a lot of friends that played sports, but I wouldn't really say that I was quintessential jock. I mean, when I, I, when I was like 15, I was building my own computer at home. So, like, I don't know. I kind of fit in. Hmm. Okay, play sports, build computers, and kiss girls under stars. That makes sense. <laughs> and last question, tell us your prom memory. How'd you ask the girl, what'd you wear? Yeah. Was it the most amazing night of your life? I, I, well, I went to a few proms. Um, of course you did. <laughs> I went to a few proms, but uh, my senior prom, I was, I was, it was full of drama because the girl that I wanted to go with had committed to her ex-boyfriend, so I, I think she actually maybe went with her ex-boyfriend, and and I went with a good friend of mine, who was gorgeous also. So it was not a bad experience, but uh, yeah, it was you know a drama drama-filled high school time. So um, regardless, had a great time, and you know I don't think anyone forgets your being prom. No, we don't. That girl is regretting it now though, because you are on Starcross every Monday, 8 p.m. Watch it, guys. Thanks so much, Matt. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> See you guys later.